Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the New Wave Invitational's All-Star Event, day number one. My name is Jackson, joining me is the Anna man himself, Rebirth, and we are live with no delay. No delay, ladies and gentlemen. We are serious, bro. <laughs> we are. This is not an official match. I thought about it. I was like, who's going to be amazing in the two? Calm set in an FFA and everything. It's like, nah, just don't do it, though. But hey, you know, it's we're all here for fun. We are no delay, no delay. The delay should be gone. Uh, I'm, I'm literally gonna read the first thing that I see. Oh, Walkit says kick W. There you go. So there you go, guys. Proving that there is no delay on the stream anymore. And we were talking a little bit. Me never mic go. It, it should, oh, it, no. It should, no, my, my mic should be fine. Let's see. Claire, Claire is monitoring the audio right now, guys. But we should be good to go. And. We are going to be starting things off on Oasis City Center. We got Arte, Young Cucumber, Patty, Shiver, Cuz, Karna, and Ambi looking to play on in our first paintball match. And if you guys weren't here on, during the delayed broadcast, well, uh, we're just going to be talking real quick about the event. So it's only going to be sleep darts, amplified damage, 20 HP, and that's pretty much it. Half the cooldown though for the sleep dart to make it a lot quicker. And it seems like all our players are ready to go. It's time to get into our first game. It's time to get into our first one in the New Wave Invitational's All-Star match. And this is going to be a little difficult for me. If you guys have been checking out my socials, well, now my monitor just went kaput. So in a setup like this, I'm going to have to do the best I can with a very stretched monitor, to say the least. So I'm using with the TV right now, which is a different okay, resolution from the usual. So Selection hopefully, in terms of the... You know, in terms of... What do you say? In terms of the broadcast, our resolution is fine. But now we are going to be getting into the game. Cockham Bear, Kuz, Karna, Patty, Arctane, Noah, Shiver, and Ambi to start things off on Control Center. On, on Control Center. City Center, Three, rather. Two, Let's move into the match. One. Fight. So here we go, Rebirth. Ito na ta. We are here. Welcome, guys. Yes. To the All-Star Week. And, uh, this is going to be a fun oh, one, that's for sure. Um, I'm really, really happy that we're going to be able to do this. And, you know, in essence, we're going to be seeing all these honest <laughs> No one really wanted to go for the first blow. So we were talking about early on that what well, the paintball. <laughs> okay, we'll take a picture, guys. Here we go. You can frame this for a good one. And uh, Rebirth, you know, can you quickly just go through what Anna Paintball is all about? Is that it? Um, there are different variations of Anna Paintball. One, uh, well, one thing's for sure that you're gonna have 20 HP or basically a one-hit kill. And uh, some variations include basically sleep darts being available or no sleep darts, and basically your primary fire would be your would be your kill, killing weapon, and there'll be no biotic grenades. Hey, we got you know, we're we're looking for those kills and we're looking for someone to spectate. <laughs> we can't even click anyone for some reason. Finally, though, we we can get Cockenbear here. And yeah, we'll, we'll be looking for cooldown. Cooldown 6 seconds, 50%. 50 percent cooldown. I mean, Shiver, though, with the first kills there. In the meantime, for some reason, we can't, you know, click anyone. Why, why is this so? What is happening? Let me let me get the arc, Daniel. We'll follow this guy. We'll see what arc is up to. He's on the Snow Owl right now. But Ambient because they're getting these kills. And it feels like we're playing a little different of a game. Big, because, you know, it really is just all about getting those sleep touch. Oh, Ambi up on top. Actually catching out Dark Daniel there. Well, I'm just in a prime position right now, but you can see that he's being contested. However, he's still holding his position really well. And with the high ground, look, he already got four kills. There he goes to show what Ambi is all about. He's staying on this high ground right now, Rebirth. He he wants to make sure that everything is okay, but because even getting on the board... <laughs> and, you know, it's just really trying to find these angles. Oh, Arctino actually catching up because, again, it's so it's actually so difficult for me. This is the first time I decided to do this. Sleep darts again by being tossed, and yeah, well, it's all about seeing how this engagement is going to unfold very, very soon. I just realized they're not able to shoot the primary fire. Yep, no no primary fire, nothing. It's just sleep dart there, and they're just hopping on around like this. Ambido is in the lead with four. Fatty still trying to get on awake and actually get rid of the honor there of Arc Daniel. The two Amanagi do so it's kind of in a little bit of a tag team tandem here, but eventually, who will be able to get that takedown? Cucumber is still on the other side, getting another frag on the board. And hey, you know, the, the spec the spec is very difficult again, reminds me of another different game because for some reason you can't pick anything else. You know, it's really there, there's always this awkward moment where you just miss your sleep birds at each other and you're forced to look at each other. Yeah, it really is. And you know, Arctane, you know, getting on the board again. 
trying to find okay. another target. Can we actually get on someone else? There you go, Arcanal right now. Just in the face of Shiver, and that is just disrespect. Not even bothering. Well, it's pretty difficult to land a sleep dart at long range, to be honest. So when you want to use your sleep dart, like utilize it properly, you kind of have to track it, and you still have to measure the distance. It really is, and now it's gonna be kill after kill again. Can we actually get into another guy? What is happening with the spec though? That's a real question. Why Why can't I pick literally anyone else? But you know, it seems like they know right now. Trying to find that angle. Shiver gonna be meeting Ark there. Feel the sleep dart again from Ark. And it really just goes to show just the one hit potential of, of painful. I wanna see someone go do a 180 360 trick shot. I'm just waiting for that to happen, Rebirth. I, I doubt that will happen, especially the six second cooldown. Nah, I don't, I don't think that will. No, it'd, be, it'd be really cool. It'd be honestly really, really cool. Arcane, don't look for the assassination. Doesn't catch his target. Will he get traded back though? Trying to get onto the right hand side. Cause though, catching out Shiver instead. And hell, hell, hell. We got Arctic down. Still trying to get into the fray. This is a lot more difficult than I expect in terms of spectating. But oh, Arc even catching out Ambi again. Uh, well, you're gonna have to spectate mostly in one cause it's difficult. Since, you know, it's city center. It's kind of a big map to be honest. You know what I'm worried about if my monitor actually died. And since my monitor died, my keyboard actually died too. But oh, that is gonna be Patty again running on the board. Uh, I'm gonna try real quick. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it, it should work. It should work. That's uh, that's the real thing about it. So we'll follow Patty right now. She's one of the support players for Mama Nagi. And I was asking you a while ago, uh, is this gonna be something that the supports can really dominate? As Calm Bear, Arcanel, Ambi, and Karn are all in seven points right now. Um, not. Not necessarily support players, but maybe Ana means who are, or uh, those who really just specialize in Ana, or maybe the DPS players, but those who are specializing in Ana will dominate more because they'll be used to the how the sleep darts work. Yeah, it really is. Just how the sleep dart works, how the sleep dart is. For Arcanal, though, trying to get the fight against this Ana on the other side. Really wants to get the catch on, but just so difficult sometimes when you're just hopping along like this. It's uh 20 minutes, uh, it's 20 kills in 10 minutes. Ambido getting another frag. And you know, Anna Painful, it can get really, really exciting if everyone's congregating there, like Shiver even catching out Karna again. And Jesus Christ, it really feels like that it's gonna be all about getting this one shot potential on. Yeah, I mean, that's Anna Painful when you get slapped in the face with paint you're dead you're eliminated that's oh there you go and i don't know guys that's why it's called paintball it it's just if you get slapped in the paint uh, with paints on while you're playing paintball you're, you're pretty much dead you just get fragged out because trying to anticipate that one doesn't get it Lark Daniel and karna again getting more kills and really ambi is just a silent killer here he's just been getting kills left right and center because right now trying to go for the brawl again he's in fourth place right now trying to deal with his honor here but here comes Patty with the snipe from behind shiver gonna be caught unaware by that one and I can see so many awkward moments happening. <laughs> like when the both can when both people can shoot their sleep darts, they just get third party immediately. Third party reminds me of a different game, Mr. Rebirth. Is that uh, why are we third party? I, I, I wonder I wonder what game mode what I happened wonder. during that time. Oh yeah, so we got Shiver and Patty again, getting kill after kill. So, interesting enough, it's very close in the front. We got Ambi, Kamabra, Shiver, all with 11 kills so far. And everyone's really just avoiding the the cards right here. They're kind of playing the nooks and crannies instead. They're trying to play in the corners. Maybe they thought they want to do something else. Because though, will be fall, uh, getting the fell onto Shiver. Arctane right now coming on through again. And we'll see if the Snow Owl can actually get that takedown. But look at the strafe action already. This is what Ana Painful is all about. Just get in the face of your opponent, literally bump heads with them, and see if it is going to be enough. It's all about hopping, skipping, jumping. Here comes Skokumber though again, but Arcanel actually gonna get that kill, and it's just gonna be a frenzy of sleep darts uh, near the traffic. Who's gonna get run over? They're so close, but Ark is the one who wins that one out. Uh, just a tip for those who wants to who wants to aim better with Ana. Uh, since you're not aiming for the head, well, I think it's better. Well, actually, no, it's not. I think it's better for sure to aim for the legs since the model. Of the legs are much bigger than the head, and that's what I see from Arc is doing. Yeah, Karna going to be open, hopping on around. Can go to the high ground here. Sees the Ana in front again, and oh my God, that's going to be another one from Mark Daniel and Cuz. We'll see though if it's going to be enough here between 
Karna as well as who the hell is that? It's Ambi oh. actually staying in the high ground and he's gonna be hopping up on top. We follow Karna doing this journey and it's still Arc Daniel in the lead. He's five away from victory. If he ever secures this, of course, is the one who's gonna be putting a stop to all the action. But it's the top four that really moves on here and on the paintball. And we still have some events here for you guys today. Not only do we have on the paintball, we have that Ryan super speed charge, which is gonna be really, really crazy. This kind of more on the chill side. It really feels like it's all about strafing right now and using as much movement as possible. And it really is something we've learned from Louis Vitesse's so like rebirth. Oh my god, Karn and Arctana with those side steps again. Cause still the one we're trying to watch, can he actually get the frag there? Good hop onto the bench. But Rebirth, what does the Ana people have that you know for a regular Ana user? What can he bring to a real match? Well, uh since there will be like many well it's free for all in the first place, you're gonna be having that sense of uh urgency that you need to be aware of your surroundings and as an Ana player in the real match, you need to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Oh yeah, Shiver and Arcnano again with those kills. Arcnano is already leading to left. Where can we actually find our guy? That's a beautiful question. The Coconut Bear shows up though, and that's the enemy because even getting the shutdown will follow the action here onto the east side. That's Karna getting caught in between two. It's just so difficult. When you're in the middle of two Anas, you just have to dodge both. But look at that, Ambi just saying goodbye too, because Pat even catching out Coconut Bear again. It's very, very close in the top, but that fourth place is all where it really matters. Karna is at the cusp in 15th, because at 14 in 5th place. And we'll see if Garna can get to the high ground, go for a trip shot here and there. See the target on the point already. Enemy and that's gonna be Ark again. Kill. Another takedown for Patty though. Really desperate to get rid of Kuz. Kuz will be able to get that kill instead. Oh, uh, Go on, trying to get all the way. 360 there from Karn and Ambi. That's gonna be the real question. Oh. But Shiver trying to survive against Kokon Bear. Who's gonna be enough to blast warfare yet again? Ark Daniel is there though, and he might just get that trick shot, but the <laughs> Shiver will shut it down. <laughs> It's not gonna happen, guys. And for some I, reason, I think that's too many 360s. There's not too many 360s. And why do we have Roxy here? That's uh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll make that invite only after. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Calm Bear, cause on the board, and it's gonna be really, really close at the end. Karna and Shiver are down with us there, but in the end, we do have our top four: Arduino, Ambi, Kiz, and Karna are victors for this first game ball game. Well played to Ark for actually playing both. Defense and offense really well because the moment you use your steep threat, you're forced to play def defensive. Yes, Arc Daniel would play the game. He's just really straight as much as possible. So that is just all that movement there. Arc and because and Karna take no and revert because those guys are moving on to the next round. <laughs> and a paintball, you know, and, and a paintball is is something, and uh, that's pretty much it. So who was it again? It was Arc. Arc um because and uh, guys guys Kar guys Karna was it Karna from the number four help us out guys help us out we're, I was we're typing it down oh my god revert revert <laughs> I needed you top three I needed you who was our top four uh who was our fourth place that was Karna right I think it was really Karna if I remember correctly it was Karna yeah. So. Congratulations there to Karna. He, uh, it was a uh, pretty, pretty close, especially at that four place. And you know, I play arcade a lot, and trying to figure out who in an FFA just how the yoink fourth away is. You know, it's a pretty, pretty big one. Especially if you're aiming for those, you know, skins. Yeah, it really is. And uh, let me just fix up this match number two, but. From from seeing what unfolded there on the previous match, what can what can you say, Reaper? What what were so, what, some things to really note on that table match there? And you know anyone you you enjoyed watching? Well, I enjoyed definitely watching the awkward moments when two Anas have no sleep darts. But what I look, uh, but what I, I what I actually see mostly is that. Uh, in this game mode, you really have to play offensively and defensively at the same time. Because the moment you just need that, you can't really go anywhere, so you're forced to play defensively. It really is. And we are just looking to get who else. Who is, else is still missing? We need Kronos as well as Wakid to come into this game. And hopefully Mr. Mr. Crow here is actually not playing anything because we're going to be trying to invite him in. Thank you, thank you to to Coco, Patty, and Shiver for participating in the Ana Paintball. And 
It's just unfortunate though, Wotash losing electricity can unfortunate. It's really heartbreaking to, to see someone lose lose out there, but we are gonna be going into our next map, which will be what was that one? Our next map will be Ilios Well. And hey Rebirth, you know, I think we can be more more explosive about this. It feels like it's a it feels like we're kinda somber right now when we should be more hyping things up. Not, not what are we what are we really trying to analyze by this point, right? Yeah, two yeah, good point. <laughs> like, really why you, why you sound so smart, Rebirth? Why why are you giving me this shit? I'm just looking to enjoy my time here. It's like I feel like we can just be more meme about things and it really, I think people are gonna enjoy that a lot. <laughs> but Ilios will right, right. be our next map. No, give me a second, guys. I just wanna, I just wanna quickly fix something up on the stream side. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We we still have we we'll still have four people left. Papa <laughs> Litmunapi. And I think we are gonna be good to go. Oh, I remember that I need to change. I need to find a a next player real quick. I need. I need to find something. Find it on X Fatalist there. No, I need I need like I need uh next next spectate next button. I need to find that real quick and I think I think I can use this one for the time being. So we're not gonna be using this anytime soon. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay. Meeting Muna Tapa say hi or okay, you guys are gonna have a meeting. How can I join? It's it's uh it's only for an uh Sorry, King Andy. It's only for New Wave Invitational's participants because this is our All Star Weekend, so we're celebrating ten weeks of a regular season, basically, for for all the players. So it's top four, top three, top four for win. Uh, lucky, lucky you guys. Cause, uh, cause uh, it's like only six people. What that's having to withdraw, and we didn't have a sixteen participant. So it's gonna be a little smaller. I feel like they actually gonna get congregated, and I'm gonna be very, very excited to see someone actually fall in the well as we move into our second map. Can we actually see people fall in the well? I want to see someone fall. In I want to see someone fall down. That's for sure. I want to see someone like drop into the abyss that is the waters, drop into the abyss that is just the the map that is called Ilios Well, and now it seems I like we are gonna be able to Ilios get into well. the Sunset Boulevard. That is Ilios. Well, we have to start the game manually also, which kinda, which kinda is a little irking, but yeah, that's how okay, it is sometimes. Okay. And we are gonna be getting Select into the match you. itself very soon. So I Whoa. got a question, I Rebirth. Know. I got a question. Yeah. Now we got Inbox Bucket, Guinness, X Fatalist, Kronos, and Roxy Lalonde. Anyone you're rooting for? Anyone you you wanna be basically looking into coming into this match? Oh, I, I wanna see Wacked. I wanna see Wacked dominant. Fight. You know, because he plays Echo. Projectile. Projectile, projectile, come on. Behave. Projectile, projectile. And it seems Children like we're going to be behave. saying our hellos with one another. For some reason, it still doesn't want to give us the, the numbers. The numbers don't Is work on Bird meeting the server. So I think, oh, I think ah, we, okay. we can set up static behave. cams still. Hello. So even though we can't set up the numbers, you can set up those static cams. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> They all just dropped, so oh no, oh um, no, I wasn't oh no, expecting that. do it again, <laughs> do it again. I forgot, I forgot to do it. Check it out. Oh my god, I forgot to change the screen. They all fell down, they all fell down, and I didn't change the screen. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna okay, picture so it for you. I'm gonna okay. picture it for you. Right, so, guys, guys Deacon has some things swap. This is all star production, by the way. But you know, it's all about the staircase there. As I don't know, they're they're just really chasing each other as much as possible. <laughs> you guys gotta do it again. These guys have to do it again now. It's a big figure right there. Production value at its worst. And for some reason, I can't click anyone again, Reaper. This is so hard. You you know what can do that? You can just oh, yeah. restart oh, the yeah. game. No 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 no. It's uh, it's kind of a big cup, you know. It's a little bit of a cup right there. It's a sneaky peek, you know. Inbox is a cheeky little boy. You know this guy, Rebirth. He he started playing Overwatch pretty recently. He's one of the newer players, would you believe, in Overwatch that actually exists in this day and age. But now he's gonna get taken down by uh, X Fatalist, who has been pretty much touted as one of the Ana gods of the new wave Invitational scene, and he's just so good with those sleep darts. Yeah, definitely. And 
I actually feel bad that you weren't able to see that, but I feel like he is. is. <laughs> we have to do it again. It's like, it's really what you guys have to do it again. Because I fucked that up. I, I made a mistake. Well, kid, though, gonna be staying on the north side. Gonna be staying girl for the peak. But oh, goodness! He just jumps! This guy, he doesn't really care. He jumps into him. No no monitor, by the way. Don't forget, guys, that, uh, you know, I'm having these issues because my monitor yeah, isn't correct. Okay? Yeah, it's it's because I can't really... I can't, I'm at such a hard time. But it really just Guinness doesn't really care. He just goes in the face of these yeah, opponents. Awesome. And that's one way to go about things. Back up from inbox. He's not really going to be a spy here. And here comes again, Waka, trying to get in the way. These looks like those. It's a little, a little quieter right now in a match like this. Even though everyone is congregated in the middle, it just feels like that... Mother. For them, they're going for these 1v1s over anything else. Yeah, and... Can, can't really say much. They're all just jumping into each other's slime of sight. And... I know. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. You know what's happening? I know, I know, I know, I know. Sneaky peeky, sneaky peeky. You know what, guys? I don't whip out this style of casting too much, but... We, we can just go whip, go scream at that all the action here because it's time for inbox. He really wants to push this guy the, off the edge and Rox's London does get to sleep there. Kronos this time will be able to win that one. Now it's Wokit gonna be in the middle again dodging that sleep dart there. Can we actually get back onto this guy? There you go. Misses the shot though. And, you know, interesting enough, x is up by 3, but it's such a low point with 3 minutes in, only 3 kills. Beautiful shot there from Wokit again though to get some value. Well, you can't really find each other, to be honest, in this map. Especially, you know, there's only six players in the game. So, I wouldn't be surprised that the, the kills are... Mother knows. Yeah, I mean, no, no one's really hiding, per se. I, I see that these guys are sticking with one another as much as possible. They're looking to click those heads as much as they can. And they are gonna be looking to get in position one more time. So I am sorry to, <laughs> I'm sorry to the players and then see, to see them literally just jump in the well. It feels like they congregated there. But again, okay, it's okay. still all the way in the face of Roxy giving a sleep start on the Kronos again. For the viewers of Mr. Dax, I will uh, picture it for you guys on how wow, it happened. Wow, so explain so, to the viewers so, how it looks. Okay, okay, okay. So go to the circle. I want you to put your screen in the circle. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh -huh. first, they gathered around in the outland uh -huh, circle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we're pretending to be an Ana here, guys. This is a cinematic view experience. Uh -huh. So they all just, you know, moved their mouse up and down saying yes to each other and Enemy. all just jumped saying, ah. ah, I see. Good job, Reaver. You're, you're amazing at, you know, picturing something. And for for now, we got Fatal is going to be dueling. It's, it's just a staircase. And look at this. It's like 360 from inbox that doesn't work. I'm going to freak out if so when someone can actually get a 360 on because that's going to be... It's gonna be a big one here. We still do have x Fatalist trying to go for Assassin's Creed, basically. And I think the moral of the story here, Rebirth, is whoever is sneakiest might be have the advantage. 5 5 5 4 4. Top 4 is still gonna be moving on into this one. Sleep Dark, though, gonna be looking to connect again. And in a situation like this, it really is just CQC gonna be into the play again. Uh, when you can't fight each other, Rebert, it's just getting the opponent's face and look at where these 360s. Someone's gonna get this eventually on camera and everyone's just gonna freak the hell out. Well, you get, you gotta be uh, really fast though with that with those transition. It really is, it really is. And you, I, I would surprise you if you up that DPI, but sneaky peeky goes walking one more time. He's gonna be looking to find the angle there. Kronos in the middle again, and there it comes Inbox actually going for the stair step there on the Guinness. And uh -oh. let's go. 360, 360, 360. Oh my god, what PM. This guy's just making oh, everyone spin. Go inbox 360. He he feels it. He's feeling it right now, guys. He's feeling that he can do anything he can and more. He's in top four, so hopefully he can surprise us in the finals. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm really confused though that why don't the numbers work per se? Like I don't have any of the F buttons which usually do something, you know, for for the game. Apparently it doesn't. Kronos trying to go for the flick of the wrist. You can see he's trying to go for those 90 degrees angles, but it's for me still so inbox. Look at that dodge though! Kronos is like, we've been, ah, I'm on that table. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide behind this. I'm safe. I'm sound. I'm good to go in the house. And he is just dodging all these sleep darts as much as possible like Neo did in the Matrix. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just spectate on inbox because, you know, he might do a 360. I just feel you feel it, you feel it. He, he's going for it. He's actually going for style points. He's in third place. 
So he can potentially get it. Roxid London though in the lead with Ace. Ex Fatal is actually all down below, which, which is kind of weird because we saw Fatal is all the way at the start. He does get rid of Guinness right now. Invox is going to be looking to really find a trick shot somewhere. But he's kind of e an easy target here for anyone that realizes that for Invox, he's just looking for style points over anything else. Well, uh, you don't. They don't necessarily have to aim for the twenty kills because we don't. With three minutes remaining, I don't think anyone can reach twenty. Oh, that's so close. That was so close. Invox is trying to do how many spins here with only six second cooldown. There is still a bigger chance per se. But for the time being, it's still not going to be enough. Doesn't get the connection on. Walking right now, trying to go for a third party. Doesn't happen. And it's finally time to see most of these players beside each other. But Invox on the board. This time gets rid of Rox. And then we have Invox going down to that. Walking. Walking still in the middle. That's going to be some AD strafing there from Diana. And it's going to be Navi Navi time perhaps here for Walking. Gets rid of Kronos instead. Mother knows best. <laughs> oh my god. You, you, you want to know how to make Is the players it? do more 360s? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Give me, give me, okay. give me, what okay, do you okay, need okay. to do? So, so, we need to make a condition saying, uh, whoever does a trick shot and we catch it on stream, we we'll get win. So, maybe we can win, we we'll get automatic first place. <laughs> what is this, Harry Potter? It's a golden snitch. It doesn't even matter what the rest of the game does. Now, in, in hindsight, you know, in Harry Potter, you'll actually insta win when you get the golden snitch. It just gives you a buttload of points and basically it ends the game. But you know, we can we can say that we can we can say something like that. But you know, Kronos is trying. He almost actually gets it. And we're spinning around with many of these players. Who's gonna be able to get the connection though? That's gonna be a real question because Bucket gonna be staying on the right side. It seems like though that the pace has picked up because everyone is congregating on the north side. All everyone is desperate for kills and everyone is just separated by two kills at most. Yeah, um, it's gonna be like. But clinching at this point, to be honest, because oh, the children behave. Yeah. Did he actually do it? That's my question. No, no, no. That's a good. This is a good shot. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give credence. Sometimes straight shots are just beautiful, but look at and Fatalist right now coming on back. And the thing about it, guys, we don't care how many points you have. It's just whatever the scoreboard says. So it's kind of hurt. This kind of hurts Fatalist. He needs to get that kill because he was the last one to get the nine points. Get this right now. They're trying to come on up. He's the one all that below in seven, but there is still a chance for a comeback. One more minute left, though. Sneaky peeky. Gonna be hiding onto the table. There we go. Using urban warfare. If you ever played Call of Duty, you know what the A table is. Very, very strong for your cover. Rocks and Londe trying to get on away. Already in fourth place. Everyone on the top four tied up with 10. Inbox still unable to get the shot he's looking for. And well, we'll actually lead into this one. We'll stay on Inbox right now. He's desperate to get into the top four. He's desperate to really get that 360. I don't know which one he's more desperate for, but it doesn't really matter by this point. He does go for the kill, but doesn't get it because that is going to be backstab there. Dodges the sleep dart. Goes for non 80. Goes for another one. Uh, uh. And he's going do it! Oh, uh, it misses! No. Oh, no, not gonna happen. And Wokid with the punish. No oh, way, no. says Wokid. It's not gonna happen. And that is Fatalist. He is in ten, in, with 10 kills. Inbox has to do something. Guinness also might have the chance, but Inbox actually getting that kill, but he's still in fifth place. It's gonna be very hard time right here, right now. Kronos catching up Roxy. And can anyone else get the kill? No, it's not gonna happen. And we got Roxy, Kronos, Wokid, and Fatalist. Our top four for this one. Roxy Crow, Wuck, and X Fate. There you go, there you go. You expect someone to do that? It's like it's like he's just spinning around and around and around, and there you go, guys. Another round done in paintball. And coding is overloaded. I wonder why, because we're on we're on a TV. I wonder why, Mr. Computer. But that is gonna be our second round done, and we are gonna be moving on into the next good attempt though from Wakhid. And <laughs> very, very commendable to say the least. Parang quality lang na video. Parang 720. <laughs> uh, Grats to our top four. Top four. <laughs> Thank you to Guinness and. Who was the other one again? And. Who was one more, right? And Wak. Guinness and Box. Wak, okay. Box. I see walk. I, I see inbox pala. Inbox, inbox, yeah, inbox. inbox. inbox pala. Oopsies. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. Big debate, big debate right I there. Think, I think we want him so much to be in the finals just for those 360 attempts. I know, right? I know, right? And this is gonna be our 
This is basically gonna be our round number three. So we will still be having another match after this. What time is it already? It's already 9.44. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you think what? we can increase, like, lower the cooldown for the sleep darts? Make it two seconds? Make it two seconds? Then what is the point of that? We want it to be even quicker. Rebirth wants, wants the CD to be lower. Is everyone cool with that? Is everyone cool with that? Is six seconds too too much? Oh dear, yes. Okay, we're we're getting our you know we're needs only, no needs, guys. So uh we'll we'll do it again, we'll fix things up and make our sleep dart around three seconds instead. So twenty five percent. Three three seconds. <laughs> three seconds along. Nano melee only. No. What what is the point? <laughs> I know are we are our third map. Our third map this time will be Chateau Gilliard, and we are going to be 3 seconds, please, guys. Everyone agrees, I think 6 is hell, and yeah, we are going to be moving into the next one. We got Ark, Roxy, x Fade, Wocket, Karna, Kronos, Kuz, M, and before our, basically our semi-final match, and we'll see who the top 4 that's going to be moving on after this one. After... After Chateau Gilliard, guys, we are going to be moving into Necropolis. And I think we're going to have more memes later on when we have the Reinhardt Super Speed Prepare Challenge. But apparently, since we have 8 people, Select we can just move into the game directly. Okay, uh... You, 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 you might want to spectate the one already, because they might jump off. Someone, there's someone in the voice, in the... There's someone... How does Dragonman? I just lang. Three seconds. So three seconds along for that guys. And we'll find we'll find the mating call of these guys. We'll find where everyone does go on. I think it's the statue, the statue, the Yeah, I think they're gonna do something to jump bad guys. So this time we're gonna be able to show it on screen. Alright, these teams are gonna get talon for reset. <laughs> talon, jump for joy, talon for reset. See how this is all gonna fall. We see the congregation right now of all these Anas. This time we're gonna be having it on camera. Everyone does. And what is the what? plan here? They're... What is happening? What is the plan? What is the plan? I'm trying to figure out what their plan is. And they're just looking to celebrate all together. Jumps up into the water. And goodbye to all the grannies. All the single grannies going to be saying goodbye. Everyone is at negative one. And it is not time to get into the action on Shenzhou Go Yard. Imagine if one, like, when you jump the lunch pad and you still just remain uh, on the ground and not jump in. <laughs> but that's going to be like. Really, it's gonna be interesting. And you know, this jump pad is actually gonna be really, really cheeky. Rocks the lawn, they try to do that one. Goes for the backstab, doesn't get it, so it was onto the high ground. Bucket catching out and be there. And it's gonna be Roxy with basically two kills at one point since everyone started like negative one. Still, the gonna be saying hi. In three seconds now, it's gonna be a lot more fatal to begin with, just staying way too long. And that is just Roxy disrespecting Bucket. Easy shot there in the front line. Yeah, Arc Daniel, really loving the high ground. Oof, misses. Uh, I don't know who's aiming at. Uh, XP the list. Okay, you got those names, Freebird. You, you can figure it out. And it's gonna be interesting. How many representatives do we have of each team? We have one, two. I don't actually, I can't really count right now. I'm kind of, oh, I'm kind of throwing blanks here. But we got a bunch of reps from different teams, that's for sure. Ambi though, with backstab out in behind, actually getting, getting the kill there. On to Arcano. We got Roxy Londa though, looking for the air shot. If he, Roxy can do this, this would be amazing. Look at this. Stay on Roxy right now, guys. He, he is just waiting for a potential air shot. But cuz! Cashy catching out, x was there instead. Beautiful stuff. It's now time for the brawl into the patio as well. We have Wokit saying hi to the rest of the crew. And we're gonna be able to come on forward. Ooh, so and good, it Roxy. It was, it was such a good one there. Oh my god, I saw the air shot. They're, they're, they're really trying. They're really yeah, they're trying. trying. But no, from down from up on top, Roxy Lon that drops down to get that kill. Very, very close, that's for sure. Walk it right now in CQC. I think we can throw the brawl again. Sleep starts to connect. Can walk it actually get the shot ball chasing after this on? Oh, no, that's gonna be the real question. Med back doesn't matter with only 20 HP. Still hopping on around, trying to make this happen. And I think we're gonna be freaking out if it actually happens, guys. Oh, Ark Daniel! He comes from behind and he catches out Bucket there instead. Ark, you madman. We were thinking that it was Bucket who was gonna be the one to get it. But Ark comes in instead, gets the backstab on. And right now he is just on fire after an amazing trick shot there. I'm still hoping for a trick shot. Either, you know, a 360 or, you know, a shot. 
I think I actually saw an air shot a while ago. I just yeah, we saw fight. we saw Ark at the air shot. And Inferno is gonna be looking to get on away. Because in the meantime, we're gonna be trying to figure things out. There we go again. Though with kill after kill after kill. And it's just more and more onto the high ground. Roxanne Lande just wants to stay on this high ground as much as possible. Just wants to make sure that it's very secured in this way. Ambi though in the lead. Until Hero, like Ambi has just been a quiet, quiet winner. He's in 9 kills right now. He's just such a good 30 party player. He, he's just able to really find these opportunities. Because though, playing Spider-Man on, on top gets a kill there on the Kronos again. Finding the backstab one more time. And that third party gameplay just so effective right now for Kuz. I mean, you know, in a free for all game. He just went a third part. Works every time. Oh. Works every time. Oh, that was so close. So it close. Was so, so close right there. And it's a lot of time oh, for so the bounce pad oh. again. Karna versus X Fatalist this time. We're looking to figure out how everything's gonna unfold. And we still still in the lead. We're trying to find someone to have to click on. There we go with Roxy trying to go to the brawl there, but still Karna getting in the way. And this, these wine sellers can be such a good place to really go for the fight here in Anna Paintball. When everyone is all together here, it's just so, so easy for basically all the action to punch on up. And they can really go for these backstabs. With three seconds right now, it's a lot easier to get these kills anyway. Yeah, you know, to make the team faster also. So we're gonna have time for the other upcoming exciting matches. It really is, really is. But yeah, we we are gonna be on almost at the halfway mark, and Ambi is on that nine kill right. Ambi though and Ark still on the board there. We got Ark Dino right now getting the sleep there too. Connect yet again, and we'll see if there's gonna be enough. Kronos trying to get on away one more time, and for Ark just pounding the opposition. He's like, nope, no, no, you're not getting away from me. Kronos, 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 buddy, pal, come here, take a nap. I love it, I love it. But Walker comes back instead to get another takedown. <coughs> There's so many... There were so many attempts already for the trick shots. Oh my god, Roxy Lalonde! How do you do this? Okay, that was one. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> that was one. You actually one. caught it. You actually we, caught it. We got it. We got it. We got the golden snitch, guys. We have gotten the golden ticket. Will Willy Wonka. Gonna be proud of that one. Sees the trajectory, sees the bounce, and Roxy, even though already still in fifth place, is already won my heart. The Abby, though, another takedown. Let's see an Abby right now, because again, as we said, Unsung Hero, he's all 12 kills uh, close to the explosive arc they know. But this is where Abby shines. Anytime he sees someone unaware, he, he's able to get some really good backstab, and he's pretty precise with those sleep darts. Arc they know, though, also a force to be reckoned with, also on that 13 kill rate. And Roxy, again, gonna be hiding here, trying to potentially bait his opponent out as much as possible. I'm actually still having a hard time with players because I also can't do the F1, F2 spectate. I don't, even, I don't know why. I honestly don't know what's what's up with the game right now. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. That's so close, Roxy. Then we getting rid of another one on the high ground. This time, maybe Roxy can go for the shot from mid air, but we'll get caught by Arcnail oh, again. Ark has been, you know, Ark has been so good. His, his air control is so, so potent. And that's two for in the roller for Ark. Make that three. This guy is nigh unstoppable. He's just keeping things up. Looking for a fourth in the air. Doesn't get this time. He is in the lead, though. Trying to really get the catch. And bucket a little too close for comfort. Who kills left? Can Ark, you know, just go on the pain train? Can go on a streak? He's going to be bouncing onto the path again. Tries to go for Kuz. Doesn't happen. We'll stay on Ark, you know, though, because this is as exciting as it can get. Bucket comes in from behind. And Mr. Rebirth. That is gonna be Ark and Roxy one getting kill. kills against one another at the same time. But I have nothing to say. I just say I just create. Yeah, yeah let's say let's say an Ark thing. He's Ark. It's Mr. Ark. They know this kid. He loves playing that far that junk rat. He likes that air control. And if any if anyone can actually win this out, it might be him. He's feeling very secure. I want a 360. I mean, it wasn't the most clean, but I will take it. I love it, Ark. They know. GG well played. Ark and Vicarna well kid. Our top four. Play of the game though goes to Ambi, and this is what we're talking about. Even though uh, Ark was very explosive, as we said from Ambi, unsung hero, that's so sneaky, making that, like, making those two kills happen. It's got 360. It was still, it was still an attempt, and it looked clean. It was good. It was good. That's all I gotta say. I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, it was good. I had a great time. And who, who is it? Ark, Ambi, Karna. What kid? What do you think, Mr. Rebirth? Any, any favorites coming into this one? Art for sure. I want more of those three sixties. Three sixty warfare, and I, I think this is going to be a good map for it. Necropolis 
I felt like would be a really good map, especially since we only have uh, four players left, and this will basically allow us to to see who is the best paintballer here. So whoever wins this is gonna be the winner. Okay, okay, guys, last four. Whoever wins is obviously the champion. <laughs> that's, that's that's pretty much it. Whoever says win is is the winner. And after this one, guys, we'll be taking of course a break. We'll be getting another caster in just to fascinate it next for our upcoming event, which will be uh Antawidito, which will be the Rhine Super Speed Challenge. It's gonna be a little little interesting. You champ Dito you want to be once rebirth. But actually, guess you guys. Uh and in the chat. Tell me, guys, if you if you want to see Rebirth face off against the champion in like a wait, wait, what, in like a first what? to three, first to three, like but I'm gonna be this long, first to three on Castillo. That'd be that'd be pretty spicy, in all honesty. Bro, 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 I don't have my setup, bro. <laughs> no, you got Entering this, the necropolis. bro. Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> no, I got this. You know, I I believe in you, Rebirth. I always Select believe in you. Hero. But we are gonna be getting into our. Grand finals, ladies and gents. This is gonna be it. Is there a plan? Is there gonna be something else? Can we actually put somewhere? Maybe, maybe. Can we add to the pod real quick? Uh, guys. guys. Thank you. Add, add a few polymer elements along the way. So in between the two obelisks are four grand finalists are gonna be staying in the corner oh, okay, okay. they're gonna be sacrificing they're gonna be summoning rebirth in the middle guys so everyone rebirth can you give us a chance how, how do you this summon rebirth just a rebirth retirement hey hamana 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 do it do it do it do and it. There, there 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 there's throwing balls hamana and they're all <laughs> you always amaze me rebirth you always amaze me Revert, revert. I can hear the chants already. Revert, revert. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our final four are gonna be in the paintball. We got Karna, Arc, Daniel, Ambi, and Wakid. Looking at the rosters, uh, one tank. Karna, Karna is like support and tank. Ambi is a tank player, two DPS. Very interesting that we don't really have a dedicated support player right now in our top four. Yeah, because um, I think um. The DPS will most likely shine here, especially the projectile ones, since um, some Ana players don't really shine with the sleep that much, but they will shine with their nades in spam. Yeah, that's true. Like, uh, looking at people like x it really is he. We know him as an Ana god because of like those bio grenades coming on through rather than sleep that's kind of go going for the brawl here. And again, these two Ana's trying to play the close quarter Hello. combat. And they're, they're just basically trying to bait each other out. Bambi comes in from behind again. And this is what Hamby is all about. He's just so sneaky. He's just always getting these kills out of nowhere. And he gets rid of the, the two duelists onto the corner. What a shot! He just jumps on the head of Ark. He doesn't care. I don't know what Hello. games he has been playing, but I think I've seen this somewhere. Just being sneaky. You know, sneaky peaky like. And then just sleeping people. What? What what game is that, Mr. Rebirth? What game is that? Uh, I'm not really sure, but actually the only thing that came to my mind was Far Cry, to be Far, honest. Far Cry? You... That's, I mean, you can be sneaky there. Fuck it though. Gotta be leaping on down, doesn't get a shot on. Ambi again from out of nowhere. He's so sneaky. He's so sneaky. You know, just, you know, just rotating around the whole map, you know, taking a tour. Wow, those long shots, I'm actually... I'm not ready to I'm very impressed by Ambi, we'll stay on him. So he's understanding exactly how to play this high ground. Playing long range game, looking to just run on through to the other side, making sure that everything is going to be fine, and Dandy will go on the board this time. Will the long range shot actually connect? Seems like it's not going to be the case. These two Anas looking at each other, gazing with menacing views and Rocket finally gonna be getting on the board already with one kill to his name so he, he was stuck on negative one for very very long because Ambi kept yoinking those kills Karna though again having to play in the corridor Ambi trying to get the shots doesn't get this time I am actually questioning how do you yoink a kill when it's just a uh, one hit one kill per I mean, it's just if no one's paying attention to your movement, that's that's pretty mm. much where it really is. But Karna right now gonna get another takedown there. Arkdale gonna be looking for another kill. He's on to the high ground right now, trying to make sure that he can find the angle and a beautiful Here shot from up top. It, it feels like here on Acropolis, it isn't gonna be as flashy as uh, Chateau Galliard. These guys are 
basically looking for duels, looking to really win out the, the clash as quick as can be. And using the high ground to the advantage as much as possible over, you know, anything pretty cheeky. But in a situation like this, I think this is where Ambi will really shine in a more standard game. I like how he's just using the cover when his stick doesn't cool down. Just makes him as sneaky as possible, not being exposed to the others, not giving them the free kill. Oh, never mind, he just gets I mean, if everyone decides to go on the same spot, eventually someone will get that by the sleep start. And since everyone's on the staircase, who is our lone survivor? It's gonna be Mr. Bucket, but he's still all the way in last place. And as Abby spawns, he gets a very good opportunity. He's 10 kills already, he's just 10 away from victory. And as we said, you know, Abby is just so, so sneaky in a setup like this. And I think Ambi is a tank and damage player, right? For yes, sir. The... I mean, he plays a lot of Ana too. I've seen him with the bugs play a lot of Ana, so his sleep darts can be on point. Wokid, Karna, and Arcano can go for potential combat. There's still five minutes left, but for Ambi, he's just hopping on around again. Coming in from behind, might be able to see a target here from long range. Michael for the flick of the wrist, and I can see how Ambi plays this out. He's anticipating where his opponent is going to be coming from. He's anticipating where his opponent is going to land, and it really just goes to show how smart Ambi can really be in a situation like this. What he plays it like? He plays it like me, if you think about it. Because like, hey, he, has, he has the wind up time, right? When you do the right click or the alternative fire. Yep. It's kind of the same here yep. if you think about it. Because when you take out the Ana dart, it's basically the similar to the wind up time of me. <laughs> That's true, that's true actually. It's actually pretty smart, Rebirth. Uh, I didn't really think about that. And there you go, Ampy yeah. again. If you guys remember correctly from the New Wave Invitationals, if when Ambi was playing that DPS, he would pretty much exclusively play the main, something he really understands how to play, especially using those right clicks. And I guess in a situation like this, it really just comes to light. We were thinking that here in Ana Paintball, we would see who's going to be the best Ana, but apparently we're seeing who can be really the, the best main player by this point in time. Totally. So, yeah, um, maybe that's another way to practice deep dives. Play me, play, play me. That's actually really interesting. But that, there is Abby. That's a free shot there. He's 13 kills already with 4 minutes left. He might be able to run away with this if Arcano is going to be unable to really get any kills. And I feel like for Arc, he has to duel Abby directly. He has to make sure that he puts Abby in a cage, in a corner, and let Karna and Wokka do whatever the hell they want on the other side. Because for him, the biggest target has to be the one in front rather than those behind. I can already see the pressure, you know, forming when I see the Arc Dana versus um, Ambi match. Really is, really is. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, while well, uh, Arc and Ambi can go for this duel. And I feel like they should be left with their own devices with the 1v1, Ooh. but there we go with Ambi again from up top. Arc Dana not paying attention, and Ambi, of course, will take that opportunity. It's still free for all, so Karna and Wokit can still win this one out, but by this point in time, it ha it'll be a miracle basically for Wokit to actually get the lead away from these opponents. Ambi though onto the corner again, Wokit staying onto the high ground. Here comes Arcana right now, looking to get in position, and I do like how they basically encage Ambi. It feels like they're they're all working together now against Ambi, but Karna will break that truce! It's a backstabber to remember. Karna right now looking for another kill, just playing the Ambi gameplay, trying to come back that way, but if no kills really happen to him, then it's, it's gonna be so difficult. To catch up to 15 points in the lead. This is FFA. This is not team deathmatch. If you team up, you're gonna get backstabbed one way or another for sure. It really is. There, there is no loyalty. What a snipe though. Wokid actually getting another takedown there. Here comes the long range ballistics. Wokid still not gonna be able to get any little targets, but Ambi right now gonna get caught at the open. Wokid this time takes that free kill. But in all honesty, if Wokin is the one getting all these kills and Arcdanal isn't, Ambi is going to be happy about that one and more because with 6 points only there for Buck, he's not really going to be a threat right now to his lead until a miracle happens simultaneously. On the other side though, Ambi right now going to be onto the corner. We'll get sandwiched again. We've seen this before and this is going to be Arcdanal taking advantage but Karna with a beautiful snipe from the middle. The only miracle I can think of for Wok or Karna to win 
is if everyone just suddenly just drops into the pit and just makes them. Enemy needs four kills. Oh, Nark actually taking that lead. Oh uh, my god. Uh, Out of nowhere. A little bar from Amanagi gonna be able to get things done. And hello, guys, whoever is whoever's actually hopping on in to first time checking out the new uh, day spells. This is the All Star Hello. Week, and this is our first day where we're gonna be doing mini games. On Friday, we'll be having our All Star match. It's gonna be really, really hype. A little more to normal format. But Skarn again getting the sleep dart. Lauren Bucket still into the high ground. And again, we see the engagement on whoever's in the corner. Wolf like an Egyptian sort of has. But there we go with the crossbar. But it's still Ambi who gets that kill. And we are all tied up in the lead, but it's Arcane on top of the scoreboard. So, in essence, if it is gonna be a timer out there, it's Arc who will win. Yeah. Kind of unfair if you think about it, but uh, it's, it's, it's based on order. Whoever gets the the number oh, first, right, right. yeah. So I, I think it's okay. I think it's 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 passable. Hello. It's not the best. And it's I'm not in. the worst. So I'll take it for for the time being. Though, like if I, no one's been paying attention, Karna has 13 kills already. Trying to really find a way to go for the comeback. And you know it's a it's kind of a three horse race by this point. But Ambi again, he is just so sneaky. This guy, I don't know how many Assassin's Creed games he's played, but I think this guy is is as sneaky as can be. He's not one of those guys who just brings out the long sword and he slices and dices all the guards. But Arcane right now gonna get that takedown. Now this one v one is gonna be essential because whoever takes this might be able to. Take Take that victory. Ambi though, trying to go for the sleep dart. Oh, Arcane though, getting on away. Here we go again, trying to use the doorway. And that's gonna be Karna getting caught out by Ambi instead. Arc is desperate. He has to find a target. He has to find another one. He is on 18 points, but Karna just caught blocking yet again. And Karna is the one helping Ambi out in a situation like this, Mr. Rebirth. High ground being taken. Ambi is the target. Sleep dart doesn't connect. And I think it's all gonna be up to this staircase. Who will be able to take the win? Ambi! Ambi almost falls, but he will survive! And he he will be our champion here in the Anna Paintball for the new wave invitationals. Was that so was close. so smart. That was so smart there from Ambi. Yeah, definitely really smart how he played the whole map. <laughs> That's so smart. And the hill. Will we get I Ambi went... versus Rebirth 1v1? <laughs> will we get it? Will we get Ambi versus Rebirth 1v1? That's gonna be the question is if Ambi's good for it, if Ambi wants to do it, then we'll we'll allow it to happen, regardless of what Rebirth wants. <laughs> I feel like I have no voice here. You don't have a voice here. You're you're part of the staff. Ambi oh, and G. <laughs> oh, no. It's gonna be simple, like no money. It's gonna be very very simple. Don't worry about it. This, this reminds me of that one v one that we had last January. That is a long, long time ago, Rebirth. But we'll, we'll see if Ambi's good for it. And we'll make it only three points. And Ambi hears boss music. But, you know, it's it's already the championship there for Ambi. So congratulations to him. Now, if he's able to take down the support from Team Philippines, then... Hey, oh, okay. hey, hey. hey. <laughs> only first to three. Basta Jika. It's only first to three, guys. It's only first to three, and it's gonna be very quick. Others are looking. Okay, there you go. And we'll make it a very fast map, and we'll do our show match here on Castillo. Okay, Rebirth, good luck. You stay here in the casting channel. You tell me what's going on. Welcome. You tell me how you're how you're I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm get dominated. I haven't played like for a while, so please. No, you got this, Rebirth. You got this. I believe in you. You got this. Prepare so, the so guys, we have gotten Rebirth in. We're just using the same preset, or I'm kind of lazy to make it the, the the snazzy 1v1 thing. And whoever gets to three kills is going to be our winner. Now, Kills in Deathmatch, come on. <laughs> I would yeah, rather lobby, have in the one, one No, here. modes, Deathmatch, three points. Okay, three, we're good to go. Two, three points one, is good enough. Fight. And we'll stay on. Who will be staying on already? Boss music! Ambi can hear it! He can feel the pressure. He has five minutes though, it's as minimum as he can get. So I'm really expecting Rebirth to actually keep fighting Ambi. So we can be done this quickly. There goes Sleep Sleepstone so being tossed out. Rebirth, how are you feeling? How's the pressure? How's the pressure, Rebirth? I, 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 don't, I don't want it! <laughs> Rebirth, don't panic! Oh, there you go! This is why, guys, he is the support player for Team PH. 1 0. Boss music has been heard and for Ambi there is nothing to lose whatsoever bragging rights here right now but tuk tuk baka ducks no music and the music na fascinates do you hear the this is what outplays look like guys this is tier 1 philippine scene right here and it's Ambi getting one back one for one Rebirth how does it feel to get dominated there um not surprised 
Rebirth, rebirth, rebirth. Don't show. Rebirth, rebirth. Alain mo lang. How was? I have rebirth. I have one question for you. Oh have my! One... <laughs> yeah, it's out. I have... Ano ba? Fast Nate, we're gonna get our vote banned! Oh my god, Fast Nate! Revert though, another yeah, kill. Yeah. And revert, revert, revert. You know what? You're up by one. You just need one more kill. I just have something to question, ask you guys. Uh, my friend, my friend. Pod, yeah. Buddy, pal. Yeah, 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 How was yeah, your BlizzCon? Yeah, How's your BlizzCon? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect question to ask. That's my BlizzCon. <laughs> And we are all tied up, two to two. We are so close here. We are actually so so close. And who is gonna be winning this? Ambi will stay on this perspective, but Rebirth will say that I am still the, the winner. They're so close. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> Ambi, come here. Okay, well, let's get Ambi in real quick. Ambi, super short interview. Tama. <laughs> Tama na guys. Okay. Hey, Ambi, how how's it feel? How did that match feel for you? Uh, so much pressure. Chef, I ordered. Revert is the best Ana I know for now. Ah, uh, shit. Revert, best Ana. Ano masasabi natin dyan, Revert? I even read his list eh. May guide siya to uh, how to Ana uh, before. Oh, really? Oh, nga pala. I remember that. Yeah, also. nag-publish siya nun. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I read that and saved that on my desktop. So, I can uh, learn Ana more. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> so, Reaper actually said that maybe your mate play there helped you out. Do you think that was a case there on the Ana Payable yes, match? Yes, yes. It, it does the same file rate yung may Right-click. Kaya familiar See? ako sa Ana. Sa aim. Tsaka sa timing. Ah, it's, it's really similar, I think. Yep. Not sure with the mini details, but I think it's pretty much... Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And hey, Ambi, did you have fun? Did you enjoy that match? So, did bro, you? <laughs> I didn't expect to win at all. Hello. <laughs> I'm not even an Ana player. <laughs> well... <laughs> did you... No, I've seen you play the Ana, okay? I've seen you play the Ana, so... <laughs> Not, not, not surprised. And yeah, well, congratulations there. You are our Anna Paintball champion. Rights. Yes, well, bragging rights. We're gonna, we're gonna make something about this, okay? Don't worry. You, you guys aren't playing for anything. We just don't, of course, have the money. But it's okay, know, it's okay. It's okay. Congratulations, yes, Ambi. And Thank I think you. you're still gonna be in the Ryan Charge one, right? Which will have to happen yep. next. So yeah, hop on into that waiting room and we will be right back. Let's just quickly discuss Mr. Rebirth. Well, what do you think overall in Anna Paintball? Your verdict over the whole event? Um, really good. It was really exciting to watch, even with those awkward moments. I do not approve of this one v one. In no, no, you you have no voice. Okay, you have you have no voice. Just like just like how was your bliss gone? Okay, my friend, that's that's pretty much it. I literally did not say anything about my BlizzCon. It just happened to me. <laughs> exactly. Perfect distraction. But thank you, Revert, for joining us for this one. We'll be getting the, the tank guy now next on the list for our Ryan Charge Super Speed, who's randomly, you know, playing music when we're trying to make sure our VOD doesn't get muted by Twitch or YouTube smile. <laughs> and and uh, really just caught me off guard. I wonder uh, who that guy is. I wonder, I wonder. But we will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned, stick around. This is the all-star week of uh, New Wave Invitationals. And hey, this is actually a lot of fun, even though uh, it's, you know, it's, it's funny. It's funny. That's all I gotta say about it.